Hello everybody and welcome back to IJ Apps. I'd also like to welcome you to the first in a series that I call Short Bits, where I cover topics and some code in Android in a short amount of time, skipping over the small details. So for this video in particular, I will be covering the spannable string, which are very useful to programmatically set um, an attribute of a certain part of the text view. For example, let's say you wanted the first two words in your text view to be bolded and the rest to be the color red, that is achievable through spannable string, and I'm going to show you how. So if you don't already have an application open in Android Studio, you can just open one or create a new one. But essentially all you need is a text view. I have one open from like the previous videos where, uh, where it's called My First App. And I'm just going to be using that. So anything's fine, once again, as long as you have a text view. And the text that you have in the text view doesn't really matter because we're going to be replacing it. So I'm going to come here and just comment out this code because it doesn't matter now except for the part where I'm binding the, the ID of the text view to this object over here. But besides for that, you can um, comment out the rest if you want to. Okay, let's say we have this um, some text that we want to display in our text view. I'm going to say message equals um, please like and subscribe to this channel. And now uh, let's say I'd like to make the please in bold. Now what I do is I'd say spannable string and I'm going to say ss equals new spannable string and I'm going to pass in our string, uh, the message and then I'm going to say the ss, our spannable string dot set span and then I'm going to say it's going to be a new style span and then inside I'm going to say typeface dot bold okay? Now, uh, oh yeah, I have to uh, import this. I'm going to say Alt Enter, and then that's important. And the reason that it's giving me this error is because I've not entered all the arguments required. So the other arguments that are required are the starting point of the string and the ending point. Because remember, I mentioned that spannable string allows you to set a certain part of a, str um, of a string in the text view to a certain type of style. So over here, we just want to set this to bold. So our starting point is going to be zero. And then it's going to go up to one, two, three, four, five, six. So as you can see, that's six over here, the sixth position. So I'm going to say zero comma six. And I'm going to say for the last um, parameter, I'm going to say spannable dot span exclusive exclusive. Uh, whoops. Okay. And that's done. So I'm going to run this and I'm going to show you the result that we get. But before we can do that, we have to set our text to the spannable string. So I'm going to say text.set text ss. Okay, and now we can finally run it. Okay, so as you can see here, um, the please is bolded because we used our spannable string over here to make it bold. And now what I'd like to do is I'd like to change the color of everything after please to a blue. That way the please really stands out. So now I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to set a new span. So I can keep the same um, spanable string. I'm going to say spanable string um, ss dot set span. And then I'm going to say um, new foreground color span color dot blue. Okay, and I have that. And then once again, I have to provide the remaining arguments. So I'd like to start after this. So over here, I ended with six. I'm going to start with six. And then for the length, instead of counting everything over here, in message like the total length I can just do message dot length and um, the ending is exclusive so even though message dot length is going to probably refer to the position after the period where there's nothing it's exclusive so it's not going to count that and then once again I say spannable dot span exclusive exclusive and now I'll administer this update and this is the result we get as you can see over here the please is in red and it's bold while the other words are in blue and you can continue to play around with this if you want, but you pretty much get the idea of how to use it. It's not that hard. Uh, essentially, what you have to do is specify the type of span you want to do. Like, you want to change the style of the text. Maybe you want to change the color. And once you do so, you have to specify the start and end. And then have spanable.span exclusive exclusive. Once you do so, you can set the text view to that spanable string. And that's about it. So that's all for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot because the spannable string is a really useful tool, and I've used it multiple times for some other projects and multiple apps. So thank you for watching, and please subscribe and share the channel with your friends. 
I also in the comments if you have any topics in mind for which you'd like me to cover in the short bit section in future videos, then go ahead and post it, and I'll consider whether I want to do the video on that. But until the next video, happy developing. Goodbye.